Hey, are you an aspirant of National Eligibility Come Entrance Test for MDS? Then you should watch this. In those 3 hours and 240 MCQs, few questions will be completely uncertain and unpredictable to you and you will face the unknown. So before you go for your exam, accept this unknown unpredictability and uncertainty about this exam because this will help you. This will ease you during that time, during those 3 hours. Whereas the same thing, this uncertainty and unpredictability will bother other students. It will make them nervous that I don't know this question. Why I don't know this question? And they might start freaking out or they might feel nervous. So that's why I'm saying that accept this, that some part of your NEET MDS exam has a part of uncertainty, unpredictability and some part of it would be out of your control. Today in this video, we are going to talk about certainty. What is there which is in absolute control of yourself? No matter how the paper is, whether paper is easy, moderate, difficult or extremely difficult, but you have complete control over these things. And why exactly we are discussing about this certainty and uncertainty? Because to win any battle, any great battle, you need a clear-cut strategy. Like Lord Krishna had before winning Mahabharat. Like any great politician or warrior had before their battle. As I have said earlier also, for me, you all are warriors. Because you all are fighting for your great career and your future ahead. And you all want to knock down this door of NEET and DS so badly. I know that. Before we go forward into this video, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing it. Because Dental Women is all about dentistry and simplifying dentistry. This channel has been created to help budding dentists and dental students. So what exactly is in your control? your understanding and knowledge of that particular subject. This is your only superpower in this exam. Yes, your only superpower. So use it very wisely. The mistakes students do most commonly is they mark those MCQs wrong about which they have read. They know it very well and still they mark it wrong because of the nervousness and the pressure of examination. These are the MCQs which are gonna pull your rank backward, which are gonna change the digits of your number. If you mark those MCQs wrong, which are easy to score, about which you have read and you know completely. So the first thing where you have to pay attention is mark those MCQs correctly in which you have complete knowledge, confidence and which you have read earlier, right? Like this question on the screen, uh, recently on our Instagram daily quest, I had asked these questions and uh, you see how basic this question is. If we see the result of this question, see how wrongly people have answered. Few of them have gone completely far away from the correct option, right? So this is the thing which happens when your knowledge is being questioned like in your neat exam and the pressure of exam is also great that's why I, that's why i emphasize in each and every video of mine that please start giving mock test regularly at least at this point of time before three to four months of your neat you should give mock test regularly and not only just give analyze your result as well so out of 240 questions, 140 questions roughly would be direct questions or those which uh, might have asked into earlier examinations, okay? They might be the repeat MCQs from earlier examination or might be the direct questions like drug for anaphylaxis is adrenaline, right? Then uh, rule of 10 is used for pheochromocytoma, right? 
Stenson's duct open in front of which tooth? Upper second molar, right? So such kind of questions are very direct and basic. So number of these questions you can predict around 120 to 140 MCQs would be like this only, okay? From those topics which you have read in your UG days which were important for your UG exams also and which are important from clinical aspect as well. From all these topics roughly we can say 140 MCQs will be generally there. So you can score it easily if you have studied 5 years of your UG sincerely and also have read all these subjects before your NEET then scoring 140 MCQ correct is not a big task. The only thing which you have to take care about these MCQ is you have to be clear and focused. If you will start feeling pressure of exam or start feeling nervous then there are high chances that you will mark this MCQ wrong. Okay, drug for anaphylaxis is adrenaline for sure. You cannot mark any other option even if you are under pressure, right? Now the remaining 100 MCQs. In this, roughly 40 MCQs will be which might be new to you, which you might not have read anywhere in any MCQ books or even your textbooks, okay? Which might be new to you and most of the students as well. So now the question is to attempt these questions or to leave these questions. So my suggestion is if the question is new to you and also the all four options are new to you, you don't know about any of these options, then the safer choice is to leave such question. Like the question you can see right now, volume of the maxillary sinuses. It's given 55 ml, 100 ml, 30 ml, 70 ml. Now, I would suggest that in questions like this, do not gamble. Because if you are certain about the value, then and then attempt such questions. Otherwise, it is wiser to leave such questions. These, are, these questions are not meant for gambling, okay? You have to take care over your negative markings if you want good seat and good rank. So basically the controversial questions or uh, where you feel that more than one option is correct, it is safer choice to leave those questions rather than gambling with those questions. So the remaining 60 MCQs are the real challenge for you all. Because in these 60 questions you will be confused that yeah. D is not the answer for sure. It is either A, B or C. Or you will be confused between two options. It is either B or D. Or it is either A or C. So what I mean is you will be confused in either two of the options or three of the options. But in such MCQs, do not rush into the moment, okay? Do not answer this MCQs in the first reading of your question paper. Mark them as mark for review and solve it once you are done with all 240 questions because there are chances that the question in which you are confused, you might get a link of that question from another question because there are 240 MCQs, okay? So solve 240 MCQs in your first reading of question paper, mark those in which you are completely confident and uh, which are easy for you and you have read about it you know for sure that yes this is the answer just attempt it and remaining mcqs which are in which you are confused between two or three options leave them for mark for review for me as i have said this 60 mcqs which is your gray zone in which you are confused your understanding and your knowledge will play vital role okay only your how better you know things and how well your concepts have been formed will help you in solving this 60 MCQs correctly. So guys, our target is not to attempt all 240 questions or not to do all 240 MCQs correct. Even if your 180 to 200 MCQs are correct, you will be achieving very good rank, okay? Probably in top 500, top 600, your rank surely will be there. So, NEET MDS is not just about 
learning and understanding things but it is also about strategizing and approaching each and every question correctly so this is my humble request to you all that start giving mock test regularly and after giving mock test analyze your result in your actual exam you won't get time to categorize and calculate that yeah i did 140 mcqs correct and 60 mcqs in which i am feeling confused and 40 which i'll leave this thing will come eventually as you will start giving exams as you will start giving mock test you will start realizing that what is my potential how far i can go how much i am able to apply the knowledge which i have in the form of mcq questions okay this is also an art to apply your knowledge in form of mcqs when it comes in front of you so all the best to you guys please read well and, and i love to read comments from you all so please do let me know that how much helpful this video was and still if you have any queries or anything is bothering you please feel free to reach me on instagram or facebook and do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching see you in the next video